Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to create a mail merge with Formule for your presentation feedback form. So first, once you are in your presentation feedback form, you will need to go to your responses and create a Google Sheet. And that spreadsheet is going to contain all of the responses and submissions from your students as they fill out this form. Now, once this form loads, you'll need to check and see if you have the add-on that is called Formule. And as you can see, it looks just like this. It's called an email merge utility. If you do not have it, you can go to Get Add-ons and add that to your Google Sheets as an add-on. So once it is added on, you're going to go to Launch. And this will create a pop-up where you're going to start picking what information you want to be included in your mail merge. So what we'll do is we will then select the sheet, which I just have one, which is form responses. And we want um, these emails to be triggered the moment that the form is submitted. So we'll select this one. And I'm not gonna worry too much about these other options down here uh, because they don't really matter. But if you are interested, you could add um, edit URLs at the end or case numbers for each submission. So then we're gonna go on to our templates doesn't really matter what you call it, um, but it is important that you send for all the rows. Um, and that's these rows that you see right here. That way you can make sure that they're all being included in the email that will be sent. So then this is where some people I think get a little confused. Make sure you save the template settings. And then that will allow you to move on to the next um, section. So then click edit templates. This is where you're going to be able to build and preview the template. So you can see it kind of looks like an email. So when I click the two, what I'm going to do is come over and click presenter's email address. So the students would be inputting the email address of the presenter, and this would have it emailed to them. Um, you don't have to have a reply to, but just a note, if it doesn't have a, um, like if you don't want to put your students' email addresses in there, it'll just default to your own. Um, so the subject is whatever you want to call it. We can just call this um, presentation feedback form. And then you should I just keep this really simple. So um, I just go down and I click these merge tags over here. So what was the name of the student that was presenting? Um, and then I choose what was the name of the student who's giving feedback. And then our three options down here. So what was one thing they learned? what was one thing they did well, and what was one way they can improve. Now, if you wanted, you could even write text in here and just say, um, hi, you know, whatever the student's name is, um, by putting in that merge tag for their name. And then um, that way it all kind of fills it out and makes it more like an email. But since this, I usually am just trying to get quick info back to the students, I usually just put in these merge tags. But if you wanted to write more, you could write more. Then from here, all you will do is just click preview and send all. There's not gonna be anything for mine to send because as you can see, the form responses are empty. And so what you'll see is that no emails will be sent, but once people start to submit the form, then it will be sent. But you can go back and edit if you wanted to. Um, you do also have a daily quota of 1500 emails that could be sent per day. I, you know, with 45 minute classes and only two avid classes, I probably only have about eight or nine students get through presentations a day. And so I haven't reached that quota at this point. Um, so 1500 is quite a bit of emails. Um, but if you have more classes that are doing presentations, just keep that in mind because you do have a quota. Um, and so that's pretty much it. You can um, come through and then look in here and see the send status and if it's sent. One issue I did run into was just students putting in the wrong email address. And that just does like a mail error and won't allow it to send. But if you have any questions on this process, please let me know.